Thanks for checking out my Surfer SEO tutorial for beginners. Here I'm going to show you how to use Surfer SEO and most specifically I'm going to highlight the keyword research function where we can find a new keyword then of course leverage the content editor feature which in my opinion is the linchpin of what Surfer SEO has to offer. Before we begin, if you haven't gotten the grab Surfer SEO, I will leave my link in the description. And depending on when you're watching it, there is going to be a special deal on that. I'm not gonna mention any timeframes or pricing. It is gonna be very time sensitive, so I don't want any details to be ruined once that ends. So be sure to check out the link if you wanna see what that's all about. Let's begin with the keyword research first. I'm gonna click here and just enter a main uh, keyword that I wanna search for. So let's go right here. And on the previous page, you didn't see it, but I typed in my keyword, which is gonna be golf tips for beginners. So a little bit longer, and by doing that, you can get a whole lot of related keywords to that. That'll give you some ideas about how you can start writing for. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can search by intent. You can search by the keywords in terms of the cluster range, so the most popular ranges, depending on what that's going to be, as well as the search volume. So if you wanna go for some that are a little bit smaller, that might be a little bit easier wins, you can do that. Or if you just wanna search by the keyword difficulty, as you can see right here, here. This is the monthly search volume and keyword difficulty. The higher it is, the more difficult it's going to be. However, what we can do here is difficulty, low to high, and just kind of go through that way. So some of these like golf ball flight, you know, if you're doing say a golf, you know, niche site or anything like that, this keyword is like, you know, it's not too clear in my opinion. So like teaching junior golfers is a little bit more specific, a little bit more specific. Like these are definitely all uh, informational, but something like this is great. Getting worse at golf. It says that they're struggling, you know, like how can they fix it? They're looking for tips. And usually something like that, if someone's getting worse at golf, they want to get better. That's a great opportunity. Not only is it going to be informational in my opinion, but there's also the option for a transactional or maybe getting someone on a list. We can just click in the middle right here and do open detailed view. All right, and as you're gonna see here, these are gonna be the keywords that are a part of this. So what we can do is actually create this for one credit using their content editor, and it's gonna leverage some of these in this. And here it says the monthly search volumes 170, total traffic's nine, and the difficulty. Keep in mind, regardless of what any SEO software you're using, these are generally going to be ballparks. I've had some that have been so much higher, I've had that have been so much lower, and some that are kind of accurate. So it's it's really, you gotta test it out. It's ballpark, so keep that in mind. Don't feel bad if like one, the traffic is too minimal, or you think it's too high, too low. If you feel that it's a good choice, just go with it, okay? I'm gonna click on create for one CE credit, and this is gonna take us over to the content editor, in my opinion, the absolute best part of Surfer SEO. Now you may or may not notice this depending on if anything changes, but usually what happens is that it stops, stops loading and you're like, okay, where do I go now? It talks about how it was created and so on and so forth. Simply click on the three dots here and go to open content editor. All right, so here we are in the content editor. So once you know how to use this, you're gonna be very good with Surfer SEO. So I'm gonna really focus on this being kind of like a Surfer SEO content editor tutorial overall. First thing though, when you get started, you wanna look at the top right here and go to customize. This is gonna be very important because this is gonna look at some of the competitors that you wanna model when it comes to ranking for this. So as you can see here, we have a few. Now generally, Sometimes when you're going after them, you want to look for some of the websites that maybe are in your kind of range in terms of traffic. If they're newer, you want to go for newer sites. As an example, just completely out of this, if we're in the business niche and we're going to rank for something and it's like entrepreneur.com and Forbes, those are massive websites. You usually don't want to throw them in your competitors because regardless of what they do, a lot of things, they have so much authority that they're probably going to rank even if they have a mediocre article. Now, keep in mind, there's going to be some times where there's only some of the bigger websites and yeah, you'll probably want to model around them. So I'm just kind of giving you that perspective on here. So we have the DIY golfer looks fine the left rough, why am I getting worse? You know, practicing golf can make you worse. This is a forums one, so I wanna remove this. Forums are just a free for all. Anyone's writing anything. They're not articles unless someone took an article and you know wanted to do some parasite SEO, but for the most part, we're not adding in any forums or Quora unless something changes, right? Same thing with Reddit. This is anyone else getting worse the more they play. Is this, this seems like it's probably a forum one too, so I'm gonna remove that. And let's see, another forum one. Oh, before I get ahead of myself, there are some other aspects on the left side that you can change around. You do have your content structure here. And 
ideally when you change up your competitors this is going to go with it so i don't like messing around with this too much you know it's going to give you the average of both of those so that's going to be good we have some terms to use you know i, I usually just keep all of those some of the other ones if you wanted to add them in you can but i think the green ones are going to be some of the best ones towards the top there and scrolling down, we have some uh, topics and questions in case anyone wants to add those in there. So people also ask, competitors, and of course, surfers. So you can always just like remove some of these if needed. But like I said, I like keeping it as it is when you find your competitors. So technically, once you are done with this, you can probably just click on Let's Go. But those are going to be some other aspects you can change around if needed. Okay, let's click on Let's Go. All right, and so here we are. This is the great part about this. Before we begin, something great I wanna share with you is gonna be the insert outline. This is really gonna help you out. So let's click right here. It says your outline is on the way. We're doing inserting an outline here. So give me a sec when it's done, I'll get back to you. All right, and just like that, we already have a nice little outline for us. We even have our title. So understanding why you're getting worse at golf, identifying the causes of decline. So playing golf with the wrong equipment. So we have lack of practice, the impact of information overload on your golf swing. This is, I used to, I live in Florida. I used to play a ton of golf, not so much anymore, but this is definitely true. And so this is coming from a golfer. That's why I like using golf as an example, because I can kind of look through and say, that's definitely correct. Uh, positive mindset physical conditioning, fundamentals, common mistakes. Overall, this looks pretty good for a, um, I was gonna say a tutorial, for a little outline here. I think we're gonna be good with this. If you always wanted to change it around, feel free to. If you always wanna use your own, that's fine. But here's the cool thing about Surfer SEO. I don't know if you noticed this, but in the beginning, it was down at a zero. And just by adding this in, you're gonna notice that some of these kind of started lighting up. And you're gonna notice that Surfer SEO kind of gamifies this, in my opinion, and I really like this. So. The more of these you use in these specific ranges, the better it's going to be. So right now we have golf ball twice and the range is going to be from around one to two. Uh, we'll probably end up using that a little bit more, but that's fine. You can always trim it down. So ideally when you are writing this, you want to pepper a lot of these in there to obviously optimize it more. So the goal here is to get it into the green. And let me give you my little disclaimer. Don't try and get it to like 99 or 100. I've seen it so many times. I think every time I do a SEO tutorial for Surfer, I say the same thing. Someone's fighting tooth and nail just to get that perfect 100. It's not a big deal. Get it in the green, see how it ranks, go from there, and then you can always make changes, okay? So aside from that, we're gonna be filling this in. And what I wanna do just to make this quicker overall, I'm gonna be going into chat GPT and just quickly getting some content here to show you how this works. So what I wanna do is go here. So let me go into chat GPT. All right, so keep in mind, I am just using this to make this tutorial a little bit quicker. Ideally though, there's something really cool that you can do if you wanna use ChatGPT or any other AI when it comes to creating it. So what I'm gonna do is copy this and go on back to Surfer SEO. So this is gonna be the Surfer SEO humanizer content section. So what I can do is copy what I had there and paste it in right here. And you're gonna notice this text appears to be AI generated. You can have some details here, but what I wanna do is just humanize it. So I'm gonna click on this. Let's give it some time and it's gonna go ahead and rewrite it so you can't tell that it was created by ChatGPT or something similar, which is pretty cool, right? All right, and there we go, 0% AI likelihood. This text appears to be created by a human, not bad. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this right here. And this is gonna be in this section right here. So I'm gonna go back in here, I'm gonna delete this. I put enter there and I'm gonna paste it in. And perfect, and just like that, we have now added some more content to our section. And I'm just gonna do the same thing a few more times with uh, the actual content here. I'm not gonna show that repeated to you. Obviously, either you can write it, you can have someone else do it, you can have AI do it, but I just wanna showcase what it's gonna look like as we start using this more often and how we can optimize it a little bit more. All right, so here we are. I went through and I repeated the process. Obviously, spared you the time of watching me do that. So I didn't look it over. It's just more so for the example and what we can do moving on. So as you can see here, our headings are gonna be pretty good. Uh, paragraphs probably need a little bit more, but that's pretty easy to change around. In fact, if you just do something like this, now we have 41, you know? So uh, you can do that if you want. I always like shorter, choppier sentences. So it really depends on what you wanna do here if you wanna break them up a little bit more. In my opinion, don't worry too much about the paragraphs. Like if they look like this, that's great. If you wanna maybe add something like that, feel free to do that, but I'd worry about that last. That's more of a formatting thing, right? Okay, so headings is probably gonna be a little bit more important, and then of course, words. So now we don't have enough words, which is completely fine, because I wanna show you a great little feature here in one moment. So as you're gonna see here, we're gonna need to use this keyword more often, like getting worse at golf, like play golf. Uh, some of these, let's see, we haven't used, 
Let's see. I don't think there's any that we use too many times, which is great. Because if you use something, it'll let you know. So actually, everything is either green, needs a little bit more, or needs a lot more. So this is actually one right here with practice sessions. You're going to see when you hover over it, it says use one to three times. Just because you used it once more, it's not a huge deal. This kind of gets into like an OCD nitpicking thing. Get it in the green, get it good, and you can go from there. And if you want to get it in the green, here is a fantastic feature that I'm very excited to show you. So we have auto optimize. We wrote our article. We need to optimize it a little bit more. Let's let Surfer do it for us. Keep in mind, there's only a specific amount of credits you get when it comes to using this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. I have 27 left, so I don't mind showing you. Let's auto optimize it for you. Okay, let's give it some time. So when it's done, we'll get back to you and we'll talk about it and we can save it and move on from there. All right, so after it is done, as you can see here, it boosted the score from a 49 to a 71. Not too bad. We're in the green, like I said. If you want to get a little bit more, that's fine. Just don't go crazy trying to get it to 99 or 100. So we have optimized sections was three. It added 137 NLP entities, so a lot of words that were added. What you can do is click on it, and it's going to highlight a lot of the uh, terms that it added here. Currently used 32 times out of 33, which is great, and so on and so forth. So what it does is it goes through with your article, and it adds a lot of those great keywords words that we need and it does it for you which is fantastic so if you click there it's going to showcase that this one optimized it added a new h2 section right here added another h2 section added another one and another one and so on and so forth so uh, there's going to be previous next you can compare the versions if needed but ideally what i like doing is just saving it unless like it looks really bad which you know kind of going through you know that's going to be on you i don't want to spend like an hour looking through the article but once you are good to go you can change it around or you can just click on save and close and we have a much better optimized article which is fantastic we do have a few more words which is fine we could obviously cut down on those if needed however it is going to be a whole lot better than it was before so that can save you a ton of time when it comes to creating content but not only that optimizing it a little bit better so if you wanted to go in and sprinkle some of these in here to make them sense to, to make more sense excuse me you can do that uh, but that's how the uh, auto optimize is going to work there's also the ability to insert internal links if you want to do that once you have your website connected with the google search console however i've always been very meticulous about the internal links that i use in the anchor text so that's something i've always done myself but if you wanted to do that you certainly can now aside from that i noticed that you might have noticed that there's no images those are pretty simple when it comes to add again so i'm not going to go through that specific section of doing that However, here's something really cool that I want to show you. Probably the last thing is going to be the Ask Surfy. So, for example, if we do a slash right here, we can do Ask uh, Surfy. You can add an image and so on and so forth. But I'm just going to hit back there. I'm going to click on Ask Surfy. I'm going to say, can you rewrite the previous paragraph for me? So it's kind of like AI in it, okay? Let's do that. Let's do Enter. It's going to say on it. So there we go. Playing golf with the wrong equipment. And you're going to notice that it goes in and it creates something new for you. So you can do accept. You can do try again. You can do discard. Let's just say we wanted to accept it. Uh, I'm just going to actually get rid of it because now we have double that. But that's a nice little addition as well. So if you want to use some AI within Surfer, you can do that as well. But last but not least, what you can also do if you want to share it, you can export it. Surfer SEO does come with the ability to use a WordPress plugin. I have a separate video that's like two minutes. I'll leave that link in the description in case you want to see how that's done if you want to make your life so much easier. But all in all, that's how you can go about using Surfer SEO to not only do some keyword research, but start from scratch, create an outline, which Surfer is going to do from you. Then from then on out, you can write it. Someone else can write it. AI can write it. You can even make it look more humanized in terms of if you did use AI content. And then from there, I kind of showed you how to gamify it, you know, add some keywords here, add some keywords there. You can auto optimize it if you really want to save a lot of time. And then from then on out, you're going to be good to go. You have a keyword enriched article that is highly optimized and ready to export to your WordPress page so that you can start ranking for it, or at least ranking for it as soon as humanly possible. That's going to conclude this Surfer SEO tutorial. And if you got any value out of this, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And of course, if you're watching this and maybe you haven't gotten to check out Surfer SEO, I will leave my link in the description as well, where you can check it out and start creating some content that's optimized for Google yourself. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.